see my previous recording before. It is time to abolish the Federal Reserve. The Federal Reserve is only hurting the working people in this country. Uh, Jerome Paolo, who was hired by Trump to be the chairman of the Federal Reserve, is not even an economist. Uh, most of the time, the chairman of the Fed would be an economist, but in that instance, it was actually a vulture capitalist who presided over the Federal Reserve. So whose interest is Jerome Powell going to represent the most is the bankers to make a bunch of profit off of raising the interest rate. The fact is, is raising the interest rate is not even going to reduce inflation. Well, sure, it's going to reduce the amount of people uh, buying houses, uh, taking on mortgages, in the housing market, there's going to be uh, less people buying automobiles, for example, because it's it just means you're, it, 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 it's more expensive to borrow money. Yeah, interest is the cost of borrowing money. Uh, there's very little evidence that taking on debt, and, and because of inflation right now, people are taking on debt right now. They're using their credit card. Uh, People are still going to live life. You know, they're not going to stop traveling or going out with their kids or stuff like that because of global inflation. They're still going to go on vacation. It's a record uh, in record vacation, record airfare travels. People are just not going to stop living life because of global inflation. They're taking on debt for these expenses. Uh, the fact is, is that printing money yeah, is not the sole cause of inflation. Printing more money into the money supply, circulating more money itself does not cause inflation, but does contribute to inflation when it is not done properly, when are we talking about is uh, any economist would tell you the International Monetary Fund would tell you if the money supply grows too big relative to the increase in the size of the economy, the unit value of the currency diminishes. In other words, its purchasing power falls and prices rise. So what is it saying is that the rise in the money supply must rise in proportion to the increase in GDP. What you see right now is most of the COVID stimulus rescue relief money is being hoarded by the top 1%. What do they do? Do they spend the money back into the economy? No, they buy their own shares. That is what's causing inflation. But is that the chief cause of inflation? Was the stimulus payments for Americans the chief cause of inflation? Because the money rises, the money is the value. I say no. I say it is a big chunk of that money that did not increase GDP because when you spent the COVID money, it beat economists' expectations for GDP growth back in June of 2020. Uh, that was the reason why it didn't merely devalue because of stimulus payments. The biggest cause was the supply chain, the semiconductor chips used for cars, the uh, the gas, IMF negotiated, not the IMF, but OPEC, they negotiated to uh, limit the amount of production for the oil because you see the, the oil cartel, they were losing money when people were sitting at home. So what do they want to do? They want to limit production and increase the demand and and uh, make up whatever, make back the money they lost in 2020. And big corporations that lost their share value in 2020 wanted to do the same. They wanted to limit their production, but then there were actual legitimate supply shortages caused by the shutdowns 
of the factories in Shanghai and whatnot that did contribute to real legit supply shortages. But these firms are rigging their amount of production right now. It is an inflation right now. It is a rise in your credit card payments, your mortgages, your your car mortgages, your, your, your car loans. Raising the interest rate will not bring down inflationary pressures, only the mellowing down of the supply chain is able to fix the inflation it is caused by the supply shortages. Even if you did ramp up production, are these same companies going to bring down their prices to where they were before COVID? No, they're going to keep the prices that they are right now. Also, this is all happening because wages are going up. They keep up with the cost of living right now. The same corporations out there don't want to pay you the living wage. They don't want you to make any increase to your real wages because they want to keep you employed by these same firms. Powell's of ultra capitalists. Uh, he, he has to know that raising the interest rate is not going to help out with the economy at all. The bigger picture falls down the supply shortages. The Federal Reserve must be abolished. The Federal Reserve has to be completely abolished. It is a not owned by the government. It is as federal as Federal Express. It is a private central banking cartel that only serves the interests of Wall Street and the multi-international banking cartel uh, led by the Rothschilds and a bunch of other fractional reserve uh, elitist central banking cartels. They're the guys that run the show. The Citibank and the Goldman Sachs and uh, J.P. Morgan, they don't run the economy. They listen to Rothschild. They listen to what the Federal Reserve uh, wants them to do. In truth, COVID-19 had only limited lockdown-related demand side effects. Advanced country supply side effects have proved to be both large and far more persistent. Markets now work less well. Countries economically disconnected. Workers less able to cross borders. Some cases less readily available. Loosening policy conditions with supply performance has deteriorated so much is only likely to lead to inflation. Uh, Oh, raising the interest rate only only hurts people. What if what if the raising the interest rate doesn't slow down the inflation? Then you could be looking at a full blown crash coming up in a couple of years if they really are that wrong. If they really uh, if if inflation doesn't really slow down at all. If there are more lockdowns in uh, China, for example, um, it, it's uh, it's it's corporate America. It's corporate America. It's 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 the uh, the lockdowns at Shanghai. I would say it's a variety of factors that are causing this. But when it's all said and done, the economy is rigged. The real wages will be rigged. The supply will be rigged to uh, give Wall Street the profits. The corporations have profited. Their profits increased 25%, the largest increase in 50 years. Uh, it's a corporatocracy. It's a rigged economy. What Bernie says it's a rigged economy is completely silent. He's, uh, he's nowhere to be found. Everything he's been saying about it is true to this day. COVID has had a bunch of uh, emotional uh, ramifications on people. They expected things to get better, but really things are not going better right now because we're still living under an economy affected by COVID. And these uh, corporations out there, um, these these uh, politicians who sold their, their, their stocks before it all happened, before COVID hit the shores of America, they knew something that the rest of us didn't know at all. Uh, Credit Card Joe has worked for the financial sector throughout his entire 47-year career. The credit card companies reside 
in the state of Delaware. Uh, Joe Biden surely wasn't going to raise the minimum wage in Congress. Uh, Joe Biden sir, uh, serves to benefit the financial sector. But Biden was a stooge. The younger people have sat down the sidelines. They didn't vote in the primaries. The older people are deep asleep. They're reliving the years of Obama and Biden. Uh, the corporate uh, share buyback program occurred even during the Obama years where uh, corporations bought back their shares. They didn't invest the money. That money, remember, was handed out by the same Federal Reserve a banking cartel who didn't hand the money out to the right people. They must be abolished. The people spent the money. The money stimulated. The red supply has really hurt the economy the most at the benefit of Wall Street. Remember, Biden works for these people. He works for them. He works for them. Republicans love corporate profits, and Joe Biden works for the financial sector. He's a rich, liberal, he's an East Coast elitist liberal. The East Coast rich elites have been running the Democratic Party ever since the new Democrat coalition of the 1980s. Uh, Bill Clinton married, well, Hillary, she was from Illinois, but still she went to New York or whatnot. She still was from a conservative family. Obama lives in a mansion. Uh, Jimmy Carter was the last president, sent the kid to public school. They'll go to private schools. They're completely out of touch. You're all right, billionaire in the GOP, or you're just you're just a, a limousine liberal stooge on the Democrat side, but they're all owned by the Freemasons. They're all Masons. They're all part of secret societies. They're here to serve the rich. They're here to give themselves power. They're here to rule over you. Rule over you, because we are the privileged folks. We have the power. We are the privileged class. These people listen to us. We have the power. We have the power. Whatever goes to them, the money, the mansion, could go to you. Biden isn't going to raise the corporate tax rate. He ain't going to do nothing. Because he ain't no nothing, no Joe Biden. I ain't vote for Joe Biden in the Democratic primaries. Then I voted for Bernie. But game was rigged from the beginning because they all dropped out. And then they said, hey, we like Biden. And Republicans were like, what? Run for Democrat, so we vote for Joe Biden in the primaries. Because oh, Bernie's a communist. Oh my God, my God, you smart. Bernie's just—he—he's not doing anything because he's not a martyr. Because he's more concerned of making friends with Joe. Biden, because he's a cop. He'd rather make friends, boodle yada yada, with the elite. Do it ain't on nothing as far as I can tell. He's a carpenter like Jesus, so he ain't doing nothing to speak of. Too bad, too bad. People got burned, man. They did. I give it F for effort on that one. But you see, it's Federal Reserve. No, Federal Reserve <laughs> owns your money. United States doesn't own the money. United States don't print their own damn money. They borrow it from the Federal Reserve private banking cartel that.
it's the money that is, is, oh, we're going to let it to the government at interest. You've got to go pay interest on your money, little sucker. Says Rothschild and Bilderberg and all them other globals out there who own every country's money in the world. And we own your money. You work for us, says Rothschild, says Bilderberg, says all oh, their new world order. Globals suck the life out of ya. Banking, vulture, illegalist, military, industrial, quasi progressive, cobble. And guess what? Media says, Oh, well, come on, now. she's a great woman. She's from progressive and all that. Oh, you can see how they're picking Kamala Harris. They're just making it more obvious now. When they pick a woman that they all hate, like she, we all hate her. Like she donated money to Trump, and she ain't on nothing. No come out of here. She a joke. She donated to Trump. She a joke. She put black people in jail for the drugs and all that. All that. She wasn't for real progressive change. She's a, she's a system politician. Is what she is. She favors the system. She keeps the system alive. She is a system status quo politician, is who Kamal is. And surely, if the DNC picks up the DNC is trying to undermine America and Republican Party already did, and they sold out the Trump and all these deep state players out there, uh, and, and, and the people certainly didn't pick uh, Kamala Harris or Donald Trump, that's for sure. Uh, they, they, they already picked Kamala for 2024, I, I tell you. Uh, they're already suckered in gen Generation C. Maybe I gotta go talk to more of my people, whatever. What do they think about Kamala Harris? Oh, yeah, she's a real fighter. She's a progressive. They don't follow politics like a lot of us out there like me. Well, we, we know she's a fraud. We know she, 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 she took money from Trump. How many of them are gonna know that she took money from Trump? The answer is less than 1%. I'd be surprised at one percent. No, she took money from Donald Trump. Guess you don't hear that stuff at all in the media at all. They don't want you to know Donald Trump took the Clinton Foundation money to for Hillary to attend this wedding and other. They don't want you to know any of that. What child Inc. Uh, Wilbur Ross worked for. He was uh, the bankruptcy king. He worked for. NL Rothschild and Sons, you see. And Rothschild Inc. bailed out the Taj Mahal of Donald Trump. Oh, I shall finance my own campaign. I can't be bought by anyone. Well, Donald Trump was bought by the Rothschild people, and they just played after. He, he just played the acting role of, oh, I'm the outsider. It was all a script from the beginning, like Zelensky, where he's the history teacher. He, he plays the act, he becomes president. And what happens after the, 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 the act, the reality TV show? Zelensky becomes president. He allows Putin to invade Ukraine. He He's not even in a bunker. He's making, he's having photo ops. These guys are complete frauds. And Zelensky himself is a billionaire. Is some of that foreign aid to Ukraine being laundered to Zelensky himself? I mean, guys a corrupt little Zionist cabal, a little puppet out there. And certainly, I hope Russia loses. And if Russia takes over uh, Ukraine, man, they're going to create a one-world currency with China backed by the natural resources of Ukraine. So uh, that's what's going on. This is geopolitics going on uh, right now. But uh, who, who, what's this raising the rate going to do? It's going to do nothing to curtail inflation as far as I can tell. And there's no evidence out there that the supply chain is going to normalize itself at all because the ports in San Francisco has been delayed. The, the, the truckers are mad that the government is uh, deciding if uh, they're going to be uh, employees instead of federal contractors that kind of thing going on over there. So very grim media is trying to tell us that we're not heading into a recession, but I think we are heading into a recession. Biden and Cole seem to be downplaying everything that happens. 
I think that if you're a president right now, you want to at least be honest with the people that, hey, the gas prices are high, but it's because of supply is low. Uh, Joe Biden wants to blame it all on you, the war in Ukraine. And, and we're not in the recession and all of this, and, and, and Biden seems to be telling, he's completely delusional, like the, the whole East Coast liberal uh, elitist he is, you know, He's saying that all oh, Americans are keeping more of their hard earned money. Than the best thing a person can do is be honest. I don't care if he's a paid for puppet or if he isn't. He should be honest with the people. And that Joe Biden's not being straightforward with the people right now. I can tell you that right now. Uh, people don't want a insurrectionist movement with Trump. Uh, the young generation's going to say no to Trump. So I. Uh, you're going to move on to Jen Sanctus. You're going to move on to some fresh ideas, so to speak. You know, someone with fresh ideas and not someone that's going to carry around a, too much baggage or is, is going to divide and alienate Americans on Twitter like Donald Trump did, for example. You know, that's pretty much where we're heading with for 2024 in regards to the general election, the, the direction of America that we're heading towards. We'll see. I, I I think Trump has too much baggage to run. I think he'll die before the election, but we'll see what happens, though. But this Kabbalah person seems like she's chosen. Hopefully she falls apart. It'd be, a, it'd be crazy if she was a plant to allow Ivanka to be the first female president, but I still, I still, I still say Kamala will be the first one, but she should definitely be beat by Ivanka because she's completely incompetent. Uh, Kamala Harris, you hear, you hear her speech. She's, she, she's saying the same line from the teleprompter. She doesn't know what she just said. I can kind of show you some stuff that I've seen her say or whatever. Oh yeah. Well, let's end the let's end the Fed. The federal private banking cartel must be abolished. Uh, the vulture capitalist uh, Federal Reserve Chairman is only hurting the people more by raising raising the interest rates. He, he shows a lot of contempt and hatred for the people. The Fed, there's nothing that the Fed can do to impact the supply chain. Uh, dilemmas facing the world right now because it is global because it's not just happening in America, folks. It's happening in Great Britain and uh, liberals are in charge of America and uh, conservatives are in charge in Great Britain and they just removed their prime minister over there. So this is a global phenomenon as you see from COVID-19 and the various power brokers out there across the world that just have no intention of making things better. It really is a shame because people have gone through mental turmoil from COVID and see the government do nothing about this. We see the billionaire class want inflation so they can rack up corporate profits. We see them rig the production of, of, of big oil. And these people are sick, really, and, and, and they need to, to really stop. Uh, the people really need to actually give a shit and, and get down to the root of everything that's going on. It's the it is satanic capel that just wants more power and more power and, and, and more power. And people don't understand how the private central bankers uh, work to uh, to take control of the world to pass on the benefits of monetary policy onto individual firms and it's time we put a stop to the private federal reserve bank and put an end to it uh, restore the money back to the people it's our money not the feds money you ain't no nothing no federal reserve let's go you ain't no money you ain't your money it's the people's money it should belong to the people not to the fed bring the money back to the people 
Don't allow the fact to fuck over the people like they're doing today. Jerome Powell needs to be canceled. 